I am back at my favorite Goodwill in Boca, West Boca Goodwill, and I know that they have restocked their shelves and I am going in to see what they have. I'm looking for some good prints for myself but also to start putting up clothing and small accessories in my shop um, such as mini bags and belts but I'm really on this like thing with boho prints right now and that's a nice one take a look at the linens here see if there's any different pillows today any different luggages to go bags this is pretty mm, don't see any new pillows well these are new these are quite pretty These votif candle holders have been here for a little while. I'm not sure they're worth much, but they are worth something to someone. Pretty pink hues. Let's see, a lot of the same things, but what I love the most about this thrift shop is that it's like treasure hunting. Um, I love when I see all the same things over and over again because then I have an opportunity to think about it again. And I'm also looking here to see if they have tucked away any new items, such as this one. That's a new one for tea lights. I like to buy things like that in pairs though. These have been here for a while and I know they're project pieces. Um, the bases are painted on, but I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna end up picking those up at some point for myself. I love this rack here. They put all sorts of hot new items here and this bag is really kind of beautiful my favorite thing is chocolate brown and these gold chain bags kind of like that chanel look you know they're usually um black but i'm gonna go ahead and pick this up chocolate brown suede like no brand but i like it i like that for two dollars and 99 cents i believe or it could be $4.99, I didn't look in, but that's how much their bags go for. This is pretty too, but it has a lot of wear at the bottom there. Yeah, $4.99, I'm gonna pass. It doesn't even, it, the, the clasp doesn't work properly, so I'll leave that. <gasps> What's this? Oh my. Six dollars and ninety-nine cents. I feel like I've seen this before. Somewhere, something like it. This is definitely artsy. See the artist anywhere? I'm definitely gonna put this in my cart. Very unique. I love that. Yep, coming home with me. Unique truck piece here. Not sure if it's missing anything, so I went ahead and left it. Let's see, this angel, she needs to be scooped up by somebody. <laughs> it's been here for quite a while. I always take a look at it in hopes that maybe I would want it, but I pass. Let's see if there's any new lamps. Again, always looking for that teapot base lamp. It's pretty. big metal piece um, it's kind of modern statues are pretty uh, statuettes are pretty awesome I would have picked that up if that was like ceramic probably because I like the the rough pattern on it but it's it's plastic 
Look at this. Look at this table. It's double table. I love when they push in like that. All right, let's make our way around here. Oop, they put out some new goodies. Um, this is from the pottery company, I believe. I'm gonna pop it in my cart and see if I'm still interested in that later. Anytime you're interested in something, just put it in your cart and then just remember to be kind. If you choose not to take, take the item, just try to remember where you took it. At least put it in the vicinity of where it was, like ceramic, pottery, you know, put that in the ceramic area. This is really nice. Blue drip glaze. I love it. It reminds me of the ocean. There's a second one here. Yeah, definitely gonna take those. <laughs> Absolutely. I do not pass on pretty pottery ever nice yeah, we'll put it back yep a lot of the same glassware items these are Kate Spades now I'm not sure what her glasses value for these days but um, there was only three and I like to buy things in even numbers so I'm leaving those always love looking at the mugs see this is a different mug 99 cents now run along and don't get into any mischief it says uh, again a single item sometimes mugs I will buy just one of though because you know they could be unique Let's see a lot of the same dinnerware for looking for any pieces I have not seen yet okay so this is what I'm talking about this red pottery bowl that's this is painted lipstick red you know it has been here for weeks nobody wants it it is two dollars and 99 cents I have always told myself that if it's still there after like four or five visits I'm just gonna take it because it is a really quite interesting piece obviously it's a project piece but I mean it's a pretty red tissue box holders are becoming quite popular for me to sell um, especially vintage ones like bamboo or teak wood Look what I found here. A couple of sets of Fiesta Ware um, coffee mug and saucer here. Two sets. I'm gonna just put them in my cart. I may not take them, but we shall see. What in the world is this? A penguin? Sango. Not a really big seller for me. Oh, Mayor. Oh, this is cool. This is a very old gravy boat. Skinny gravy boat. Um, we're talking like 30s. Here, it is not chipped. I am gonna put this right in here. Keep looking around now. Let's see what we've got. Mm. Look at these cute little plates back here. They look modern, but they're really nice stoneware. Oh, Threshold. This is a Target brand, I believe. Look at the intentional crazing in the middle. This is awesome, 99 cents? each yeah and I put that right in my cart absolutely love that kind of vintage blue let's see I'm a lot of stuff that I've already seen that I see this here all the time it's a gift from FTD um, I think it's FTD 
yeah i don't i just don't really like this vase <laughs> apparently no one else does because it's been there for weeks <laughs> but i don't know maybe it'll grow on me just set that down oh look at this this is very vintage I love the little bow design handles, and I think that was like $14, so I'm just gonna pass. Okay, just grazing, looking at some more mugs, because that's what I do. I love mugs. This is also Fiesta Wear, a lone orange Fiesta Wear mug. I can't help myself with the Christmas stuff. Nice piece of modern pottery. These are rose plates. Hmm, 99 cents. They're really beautiful. Uh, my Disney brain is telling me Beauty and the Beast themed party, couples dinner or something. I'm going to pop them in my cart. But I do notice a lot of wear on the actual design, and that doesn't look like a vintage piece. So uh, lots of wear means lots of use. So I'm thinking I'm not going to be taking that home. I need to think about it. Many of these items were here just a few days ago. I don't know how I could repurpose this. This is really cool, but I'm not sure. Plates and more plates. I like the shape of this plate. I think it's a Marshall's piece. Still really cool. Okay. Oh, I kind of like this. It's obviously modern, made to look vintage, made to look chipped, but it's still really kind of cool. I like the kind of bland plain colors. <laughs> Ceramic Guild. Now I've seen this item before on eBay being sold. Um, it doesn't sell for very much, but it is pretty vintage. Ceramic Guild. I'll pop it in here and think about it. This seems to be the Marshalls Home Goods Ross gang down here. I just picked up three items basically that were from those stores. This is a cool fish. Oh, a couple of fish um, clay pieces. I just can't find the happy in them though. <laughs> They look kind of sad and definitely a project piece and pieces and I it's cool just not for me look at this found the other one another modern piece uh, acorn jar but very cool still 
The problem I have with buying modern pieces is that um, unless they're really, really, really beautiful and I have to have it, um, I'd rather buy vintage things because they were really made to last. So this is a haul bowl. Um, it sells on eBay, but not for much. But I like it, so I might pop it in my cart and think about it. Haul superior. Anyway, so yeah, so that's why I... I particularly go for the vintage goods because I just know that if they've lasted this long and so many things just not chipped not ruined at all like teak anything with teak wood that I'm just like you know I'm just gonna keep buying vintage things I'm looking at tissue box holders because I'm selling quite a bit of them the vintage ones so this is Steinmart. I don't know if you guys know Steinmart, but they are no longer a functioning company. So that might be worth something. This is obviously a project piece. I like it. I just don't like the colors on it. It's not for me. Um, but it's been there for quite a while. And I think no one wants to buy it because it's about $10. Mm, let's see. Also, looking at the top shelves, you know, there's some baskets there. This is a very vintage looking um, picture. <laughs> Another candle holder made to look vintage, distressed, just modern. Now, this is vintage. I like it, you know, to put memos. Oh, shucks. Oh, no. They. They wrote $2.99, someone did, with a Sharpie marker. Ugh, would I be able to take that off? Ugh, I really like it. I gotta think about it. I'm gonna have it in my cart, and I'll think about it. Hmm. Yeah, the Goodwill by my house up in Fort Lauderdale, um, they, they mark everything with Sharpies or, or markers that maybe they're able to remove, you're able to remove with alcohol. I don't know. I just, it just, it does not make me happy. <laughs> I'll say that they're writing on objects. This is really pretty. Two trivets embedded in there. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It's only $2.99. I do like the tile. I do like the, the cherry wood. Nothing's chipped, but there's a lot of wear on the scratches on the um, wood itself so this basket's pretty cool Ooh, it's like a bird cage wooden bird cage it's been there for about four days now this is cool this might be maybe a maybe a 90s piece but it's very scuffed up but i like it's not real wood but i like the way it looks like wood and i don't have anything for pets yet up on my shop but i'm gonna pass on it because it's so scratched up oh this is a cool shelf very vintage things to hang it up. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna pass. Look at this menorah. It's really been used quite a bit. The candles just, the wax just melted right on it. trying to see if it works. 
we got going on here I gotta start doing things with pets even if it's just like picture frames but like true love has four paws it's really sweet love Americana designs uh oh $10. You know what this is? This is a, um, this is a pot by Dansk. And they could sell from upwards to $100 depending on the quality of it. Oh, I like this wooden giraffe. I love uh, animal figurines, but um, he's got a green rhinestone on his right eye but none on his left so I could have fixed it but I just gonna leave it let's keep moving pots pans section metals oh a temperware by Lennox Pretty cool stoneware. Mm. I would like a set. Yet another item made to look vintage. It's like a drum. Kind of drum. Hmm. I gotta look up this polder scale. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in my card and then check it out. What do we have here? <laughs> Darth Vader um, mini Christmas sock. Yes, a babe. <laughs> I don't get it. They have these kind of messy baskets that I love going through. This wig is <laughs> good, but for five dollars, I think they sell it for about five dollars at Party Party City. little mini straw hat ah, this thing is still there <laughs> the pumpkin frame has been there for a while oh wow this is super vintage this is awesome you guys this I'll tell you a little bit about it in the hall let's go ahead and put it in my cart I'm always looking for little bags to put my makeup in, my jewelry when I'm traveling. I just recently started wearing jewelry again. I think it must be all these jewelry jar videos. Whatever this is, oh, the stars that glow in the dark that you could stick on the walls. $5 for a red round candle is a little much for me, so I'm going to leave that behind. I did just come through here a few days ago and got pretty much... I got some... nothing, really, but I got like a snowman, I think. So I always try to... I always try to look at their seasonal decor because, you know, Halloween's going to come again and, you know, Christmas and you want to be prepared if you're running a shop. People buy um, seasonal items year round. Doesn't matter. Holiday items sell all the time. 
This is Kristen on it, so I guess it's a, definitely a project piece. Nice little chubby angel. It's totally plastic. <laughs> I'm just kind of touching everything because, you know, that's how I know when things are quality. It's like I look, yes, but I touch also. Yeah, something's like nice and sturdy and heavy. Yeah, usually I could say it's pretty good quality and then I would just research, see what it actually is. Just checking out my card here. really debating whether or not I should get this. I mean, yeah, I mean, for $6. just going to look at the shoes because I want to add more accessories to my shop. It's just going to be like vintage looking stuff or boho or country, which I love. These shoes are cute. They're a little big for me. I'm a seven and a half and I I think these are like eight or eight and a half, eight and a half. I'll try them on anyway. And they're super cute, but you see how the back is just too long. I had to pass. These are cool. These are definitely selling SL Lolly. The L is for Lolly. I've never heard of the brand before, but they are selling on eBay. But for this price, I wouldn't make such a profit. Um, and it's kind of hard to sell certain types of shoes. I find that selling like combat boots or like utility kind of boots or, you know, if it's summertime, flip-flops, sandals, those kind of sell for me. Um, but like closed-toed shoes, no, not really. These boots were nice, but a little worn. Um... A little weird about the shoes I want them to be in like near perfect condition for me to purchase them for resale I don't want to give any client any gunky um, shoes like even if I state that they're um, you know used or pre-loved I say pre-loved um, these are beautiful booties the white mountain um, they're not valued uh, for very much, but they are really beautiful. But yeah, as, you know, even if they're pre-loved, I don't care. I, I wouldn't wear anything that's super gunky, so why would I resell it? So I'm picky about the shoes. I'm just kind of inspecting each one here. I keep picking up all these boho style ones. But I don't know, these are $10 and pass on that. Mm, yeah, I, I think so. Again, these are really pretty. I wish that the heels were actually real wood, um, but they weren't. They felt kind of cheapy, so I definitely left them. These heels, heels are kind of tricky because if they're really scuffed up like this one here, I mean, again, I don't want to resell something like that. Even though they were beautiful. Oh, I thought these were Valentinos. <laughs> they wouldn't just put Valentinos up there like that. <laughs> Love the chocolate browns, the tans, the green sage colors. These are kind of like, are they naturalizer? These are great shoes um, for, they're like orthopedic style sandals. See, things like that would probably resell. People need shoes like that, so they would. Um, Clark's is a good brand also. Um, pretty comfortable. These are really pretty. But I've seen them here before, and I just can't figure out why I just won't budge and buy them. <laughs> Not sure what it is, but I probably will in the future. This is Sam Edelman. It's pretty. It's a pretty good brand, definitely. Hmm. 
On to the small bags. I really like this. It's $2.99, guys. I live in Florida. There's a lot of people out there that would love a bag like this. A little weekend shopping bag. Well, well you can't really put much in there, but your wallet, your cell phone, your keys. Cannot wait to show you guys this haul. So excited. So I got this hat black hat um i got it for two dollars and 99 cents and you know black hats can be really dressed up nice with a boho um attire so i thought that was really good and i got these beautiful prints this is a dress let's see if i could show it to you this way absolutely gorgeous dress with the zipper in the back and it has um kind of like a turtleneck a half turtleneck here so I really should put this on a hanger for you, but just really wanted you to see the um, the print. That's my favorite. This is just like a mid sleeve um, top, which is really, really, really pretty. I love this pattern. Really great. Then I've got this awesome pattern. It's extra, extra large. I like to buy button downs that are extra extra large because I kind of like a loose fitting top for myself and wondering if other people would too and just kind of let it hang over the top part of your pants and just kind of wear a nice belt with like a kind of cowboy buckle on the belt and just really love that. So I always buy um, button down tops that are just a little bigger. And then I got this one right here. It's kind of like a terracotta brown. Um, it's by the brand called Knox Rose. By the way, all these tops were $6.99. The dress was $7.99. I get a 25% off every time I go to Goodwill because I'm part of this program in the Gulf Stream um, Goodwills, uh, mostly, mainly in Palm Beach County. So, so it was a pretty good deal. This is an Old Navy top. Um, it's kind of, um, you can adjust it here, kind of make it like an off the shoulder style. This is like a dark navy. It's hard to see in the video, but it's a dark navy print. Very beautiful. It's from, let's see, Old Navy Extra Large. This is a very, this is a very interesting one. Uh, it's also off the shoulder, and I believe it's from Jessica Simpson, extra large. So this is another one that you can wear loosely over your pants, uh, top part of your pants. I just love this. this. is a shiny blue. It almost feels like silk. This print is really, really gorgeous. And, you know, I'm sorry, guys. I'm uh, working on getting a mannequin so I can show you guys the clothing hauls. This one is really cool. Look at that blood red flowers. Very cool. It's large and it's by, let me see if I could see, Blue Rain. But like, look at the sleeves. Really pretty. Mid, mid sleeve and it's got the print on it still. You could also do the half shoulder here too. This one is really pretty also. Another loose fitting top, but this is extra, extra large. Um, I didn't realize that when I bought it. I wear like XL when I want things to be loose. I can wear medium depending on the type of top. But yeah, this is extra, extra large, but that's okay. I'm gonna try to wear it anyway. It's a little worn on the back, but I just thought it was really pretty, so I bought that. I cannot wait to get a mannequin so I can put this one on it and get it going on my shop because this is a vintage um, Abercrombie and Fitch corset-like top. Obviously, it's a size small, um, I think, or medium. Abercrombie kind of runs small, but I just love the lace-up. I certainly cannot fit into this midriff. <laughs> top but it is really cute it's got that kind of like terracotta red um, brown it's just really beautiful so I cannot wait to put that up on the shop and I got this brown shoulder bag 
They're not brand name, but who cares? They're really, really, really pretty. Look at the brown there. Um, trying to smell it to see if it's leather. It just kind of smells like perfume, but it's really well made. It was $2.99, guys. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got a zipper pocket, it's got two other pockets. This is an excellent find, and I thought it was really, really beautiful. So, I got that. Next up, this is not Chanel at all, but I thought it came close if you don't want to break the bank. I got this for $4.99. What I liked about it is, and I'm not sure if you could see it clearly in the video, but it's a chocolate brown. And if you guys know me, I love brown. I love wood colors. I love chocolate. I love terracotta. I love brown. Um, and this is brown. And the contrast of gold and brown is just fabulous. It's, it's small. It's just perfect. It feels luxurious. No idea. Um, what the brand is because it doesn't say this however popped out the tassel when I was trying to close the zipper this part in here just popped right out so all I need to do is get a little glue going in there see it stays in now but I don't want it to fall out so I'll fix that this is beautiful all right what else so in my shop I don't really want any big items um, so this is a mini Weekender straw bag. It's so cute. It's got brown polka dots inside. I got it for $2.99. It's like really well made. It's really well made. And I thought that was really cute, especially here in Florida. We don't really, you know, it's too hot to carry big things. So I got this mini straw bag, which I think is fabulous. Now let's get into the hard goods. I got these two very, very beautiful pottery drip glaze um, small bowls. I don't, there's no brand on it, but can you hear that? I love pottery so much. This is from Threshold, which is a Target brand, again, with that kind of vintage blue that I love so much and intentional crazing in the center. This can be used for, these can be used for candles, like large candles. Um, they can also be used for bread plates, um, dessert plates. I just think they're so beautiful. Uh, great stoneware. If you've watched any of my previous videos, then you will know that I have an obsession with chunky birds. I love chunky, chubby birds. I found a beautiful sparrow at the Salvation Army in Margate, a small little chunky one, and little did I know that it was worth a lot. Um, I bought it for 99 cents and I had sold it for like, I don't know, like $90. It was a Goebel West Germany piece. It kind of looked like this, but smaller. So when I saw these, I had to scoop them up and I definitely did some research and they do look to be vintage, probably from the 80s. So maybe you're thinking this is just a gravy boat, but it is not just a regular gravy boat. Um, I always look at gravy boats when I'm at these shops because they sell well, especially when they're super vintage. This one is from the 40s, I believe. It is from Mayer China Company, Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. It's a little dirty. I do need to wash it. This red ceramic or red clay bowl has been there for months and I would say about maybe I'm exaggerating I would say maybe about a month and a half <laughs> and I see it all the time and I remember the first time I, I saw it I thought oh it's so ugly look at underneath it but seeing it all the time has grown on me it's like a lipstick red and then you know painted pottery and it just kind of looks more and more abstract when I look at it. So I picked it up for $2.99. I am always on the lookout for vintage Christmas uh, items and I found this Goodnight Lights. It's a mouse ornament. 
says it's a fun and easy way to turn tree lights on and off for use with 1,000 mini lights and many more LED lights. Um, if you think about it, that is a really cool thing. It says blow on the mouse's candle to turn the tree lights on and off. And it's awesome. Um, let's see. I got it for $4.99. It is vintage. It says Mr. Christmas Goodnight Lights Instruction Manual. It's in here. I mean, there's the, uh, I guess the battery, or the, the power pack. I haven't tested it to see if it works yet, but it's packaged really nicely. I doubt it's not, you know, I doubt it's not working, but I will take it. I took a gamble. Look at this. We got a few more ceramic bowls here you guys this one is also this pair is also um has also been sitting on the shelves for about a little over a week and i'm not really sure why nobody's picked it up maybe because there was only two of them or that there's no name on them but the blue is like a blue jean color beautiful glaze no crazing, no chips. It's uh, I don't know how new it is. It could be for sushi. It could be for anything. I think it would be too little for soup unless you want a little bit of soup. But, um, you know, it's too flat. But you could put nuts, again, nuts, all those things like that. But, I mean, look at it. It's so pretty. It's for $2.99 a piece. I love the shape. I thought it was so different. I bought this wooden serving tray. It might be missing something here. I don't think it's missing anything here, but this might be missing something, but that's okay. This Delph blue kind of trivet in here. Onion, it's called the onion design. And um, blue onion. Um, let's see, I think Mycin is uh, started with the blue onion design. But this is a dolphin brand, genuine teak wood. I mean, look at the vintage writing on it. It's so good. This is, just, by the way, this is just proof that teak wood is so great. Look at this, no splinters, just perfect. There might be some scuff marks here and there, but I mean, this is literally evidence that teak wood can last for years and years to come. Now I'm debating whether or not I should put this up on my shop or keep them for myself because the deal that I got on these are insane. I don't know what the brand name is. There is no name on it. But I have been looking for quite some time for the perfect dark chocolate mug set with saucer, cup set with saucer, and I found this one. Literally every item on here, including the saucers, has zero wear, zero chip. I have checked it all, look how perfect. This is a dark chocolate coffee cup. And here is the saucer. It is really gorgeous. It reminds me of something that you would see on the set of Mad Men. Here's the best part of this whole thing. I got all six cups for $2.99. And I got all six saucers for two dollars and 99 cents here is another mug set of four this one i was kind of on the fence about because i thought at first you know, they kind of look gross you know they kind of look squishy you know because of the way it's cloud they look like clouds but then when i kept looking at it i thought first of all there's something about the design that really works and there's that terracotta and the glaze over it so then I picked it up and I liked the weight to it and it says Westwood. So when I did my research, these are actually called no spill mugs. So you can't spill them because they have a wide base. And I just thought that was really cool. When I got to the register, there was a lady in the line and she was like, wow, those mugs are really nice. And then everybody just kind of chimed in about how nice they were and how lucky I got. I mean, they were a little, pricey if you think about it because they were $2.99 each one so three times four is 12 so I paid $12 for the set so this is kind of like a, a vase 
with some, you, you can put some flowers. I just really thought it was cool. I like the creamy look. It's a cool piece of pottery. Um, it says Pottery Barn Italy. So this was special. I wish there was another one. I wish I had two, like a set of two. But it is really pretty. And I got that for $2.99. Okay, guys, I think I got something special here. This is a thick pewter lid. I mean, very thick. Very vintage. I don't know why pewter doesn't get enough credit. I know it's not like a precious metal or a very, you know, expensive metal, but I mean, it's so wonderful. I think because it's so heavy that perhaps um, many people just don't want it, but I also know many people that love pewter as much as I do. Um, I buy a lot of jewelry with pewter in it and love it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a hexagonal hand-painted box. It doesn't say anything in the back, you guys, but this is so old. Look at this. It's very, very vintage. I got a couple of mixing bowls here. I thought they were really pretty and smooth. Um, this one is, the pattern is just so cute. So cute. They're actually mini, mini, um, I don't know if you can see that, mini hearts clustered up. <laughs> that is from this company called uh, Hearth in Hand with Magnolia. It's stoneware, so this is a modern piece, but it's so gorgeous that I picked up both. This one was $5, this big bowl. Really pretty. And then this one is, this one was a $2.99. So the way I would sell it is I would put this inside, just gently put it down. It's like three o'clock in the morning here, so I'm semi whispering in the living room. But yeah, so that's how I would sell it as a set like that. I do have some really cool things to show you here. So for $4.99, I got a Starship Enterprise. Um, ornament keepsake ornament from Hallmark and it is dated um, 1991 handcrafted and star dated 1991 this was worth a pretty penny um, on eBay I found Darth Maul and he's pretty popular four dollars and ninety nine cents it's not worth as much as the Star Trek um, item is because it's kind of let's see I think it says, um, I think it's like from 2001, from, oh yeah, 2000, dated 2000, so I'm sure if I just kept it for a while longer, it'd probably be worth something more. Um, and then I also got this Gungan submarine, and Star Wars Episode One, uh, and that's also dated 2000, so these go together. And then I got the Star Wars Episode 1 uh, Kui Gon Jin, and that's also uh, dated 2000. You guys stick around or skip ahead because um, there's uh, three items that are really special. So right here I've got two flutes, champagne flutes, here's the other one. And I just recently sold stemless wine glasses, and I believe that these are the same brand. I got these for $2.99 each. The brand um, is called Cornet B. Cornet B. So be on the lookout for anything that looks like this design, because they are worth something. So I need your opinion on this. Isn't this incredible? This is like all ceramic pottery or clay pottery, rather. Um, unfortunately, there's no name. I got it for $6.99. I want to peel, I want so desperately to peel off this part. Just don't know who, who made this. And I did a Google Images search. I've been researching this for a while. It's heavy, it's really artsy. Uh oh, oh you guys, I lied. I just noticed right now 
there's the artist's signature. This is crazy awesome. Okay, next up is this amazing picture. I'm not sure if you guys can see it if it's too dark in here. It is a black mat over brass. Um, it's by uh, an Israeli company called Paul Bell. I mean, this goes way back to like probably 1930s. It's, um, I want to say it's one of a kind because I can't find it anywhere. Um, there was a Verdi, Verdi, I think they call it one. It's all oxidized green, Verdi green. Um, that's what Paul Bell, this company calls it. There was one like that on eBay. It's chipping off a bit, but it's just showing its beautiful um, bronze brass color underneath. Okay, this piece is incredible. It's a couple hugging or possibly kissing. It's by um, a designer, an artist called Lippmann Wolf. And it's supposed to signify a never ending. Uh, it's wedding rings, never ending love. So I got that for $10. He's of Jewish heritage. Um, I think this is incredible. What with this one and, you know, the, the probably uh, Mexican pottery. Um, and then the Paul Bell picture. I mean, I think I scored pretty, pretty well there. I only paid $100 for everything. I mean, everything you saw here today. It wasn't even 100 it was like 90 but anyways um thanks guys for watching this video please like and share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet for more videos such as this and i thank you so much for watching take care